Today I'm going to talk about how to get an OpenAI API key, or how to find yours if you already have one. Now there's a lot of reasons why you might want your API key for OpenAI, but essentially a lot of services want you to put it in as a way for you to pay for your own OpenAI usage, and you can use it through their interface. So let's talk about how to find it. First, go to openai.com. If that's a hard URL to remember, don't worry, I'm gonna put it in the description. Once you're there, you're gonna go here to log in, or if you don't have an account, you'll sign up. You'll be taken to a page here, which is platform.openai.com slash apps. And there's two choices. There's ChatGPT, which is a portal to the chatbot, chat assistant that you're all probably very familiar with. And then here's what's called API. This is the sort of back end for slightly more advanced users. So we're gonna click here. Now we're in this uh, panel with all sorts of stuff going on, but you can kind of ignore this. There's a lot of cool stuff to explore, but for us, we're gonna go to this left panel. We see a playground, assistance, fine tuning, and API keys. We're gonna click there. So here, if you already have API keys, is a list of the ones that you have, when they were created, and when they've been last used. Uh, what we're gonna do is create a new one. So we're gonna go over here to create a new secret key. So this is now very important. We're gonna click this, and we'll give it a title. I'm gonna call mine Mike's API key. However, you might have a lot of these. Maybe you want them to be very specific. You might want this for the um, you know, work chatbot. So you might give it a specific title. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna call it Mike's API key. We're going to create it. Now don't X out of this page, because this is very important. Here's your API key. You're gonna to wanna to copy it. And you're gonna to wanna to put it wherever um, it is that you wanna put it. And you might wanna save it somewhere however your system is for saving. Because once we close this window, we will not be able to get this again. So, and in case you're wondering, I'm gonna delete this after the video, so don't try to write mine down. We're gonna click done, and here we are. We have Mike's API key. And notice, I cannot get it again. So, if we look up here, it says, please note that we do not display your secret API keys again after you generate them. So if you didn't write it down, you need to generate a new one, and that's fine. You can just go over here, delete it, and generate a new one. Um, if you ever wanna look at how much your API keys are being used, you can always come back to this page and click on usage. And here is sort of an overview of uh, all the usage on your API keys. You can see your spend, you can go here and kind of see it broken down by models. There's all sorts of great information in here. But now I'm gonna show you how to put your OpenAI API key into something. So if we go here, this is a Pickaxe, a popular no-code chatbot builder. And this is a sort of investment advisor bot that I built. So here, it gives me the ability to use the standard API key of the website, or for unlimited usage, I can put in my own. Now luckily I co copy mine so I can throw it in there, right? You just put it in wherever you want it, and then you can save it. If at any time you wanna check in your API keys, you can go back here and you can see when the last time it was used, when it was created. I hope that answered some of your questions about how to find an API key and generate it. If it didn't, feel free to put any questions down in the comments and I'll answer them. And for more videos about building really awesome no-code AI tools, give our channel a follow. Thank you.